It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from White Bay Beer Co. And it's a can of their Thick of Things IPA. Coming in at 6.3% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Without further ado, this looks really, really nice. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. They've called it Working Classy. Look at that. Love it. Here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, look at this. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Mick in Australia at this stage of the beer review for sending us such an amazing looking beer. Um, Australian craft beer, no chance of us getting hold of this beer uh, without beautiful people around the world um, sending us beer. It really is incredible. I always kind of pinch myself when, when I get sent beer from such far away places, you know, and look at it, look at the quality on that. It looks incredible. Two finger white head, slow moving carbonation, hazy straw coloured beer. It looks to me like there's a little bit, maybe a touch of sediment there in the bottom of the glass. Let's get the aroma. Oh my goodness me! Wow. Wow. That just, that's like mind boggling. Mind bogglingly good. It's got tin pineapple. Tin pineapple chunks. Orange peel, fleshy blood orange, grape fruit, passion fruit, tangerine. It smells incredible. I gotta dive into this one. Just look at it. Oh, damn. Sacrilege, I just wasted a little bit. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Gotta put that down. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a fantastic, fantastic beer. Massively juicy. Massive juice bomb of a beer. More than likely a collaboration of, of, of American and New Zealand and Australian hops. Really is bashing through on the palate. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange tin pineapple chunks oh my goodness me just just incredible beer incredible beer There's a nice little bit of kind of sweetness that I can keep putting this beer down just to explain the beer. I like talking with my hands. Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a nice little bit of sweetness over there at the beginning of the beer. And then a, a very small amount of, of bitterness over here that just, it just balances the beer off so well. It makes the beer so incredibly drinkable. It's just... Fabulous. Little tinkle, little kind of hiss of carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavour. I just checked then just to see if my lights were on. It looked dark over there. We are, uh, of course, um, I say of course, you, you guys don't know. I changed my light switch over there, moved it because we knocked the wall down. 
and I moved the light switch over and where I filled where I moved the cable and some of the filler has kind of made its way <laughs> it's just making the earth and the, the neutral and the live touch because it's wet filler and it's been you know I, I filled this blooming thing six days ago six days ago I did that but I bought this stuff in the pound shop <laughs> I bought I was like oh that's cheap I'll have six tubes of that six tubes for six pound I used all the six tubes around the the, the, the the area I needed to use but it's all still wet six days later and I'm like just dry so I can turn the lights on look you can see it's like a giant microphone over my head look <laughs> so what we have instead we've got like the rest of the lights around the house we've got the big studio light up there we got the normal light there we got this great big light over here shining towards us but it's casting a shadow look The main light. <sighs> it's a tremendous beer. This is just incredible, incredible beer. Drinkability is terrific. Just how refreshing and juicy this beer is. They, they, they must have added a little bit of oat to the beer as well to kind of recreate that mouthfeel, that slightly kind of creamy mouthfeel. That, that I much prefer oat. You can tell when it's either oat or lactose. I'm not a lactose IPA type person. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I don't like the kind of... It's almost like it's got a sickly kind of flavour to it. I'm not a lactose IPA person at all. I'm much more your natural kind of oat. If you're going to haze the beer, and if you're going to get a decent mouthfeel on it, then just get a little bit of oat on there, or into the brew, and do it naturally. That's what I'd say anyway. Brilliant beer, White Bay Beer Co. And also, they are independent Australia craft brewers. You can see here the independent stamp on the can. So the description of the beer is Thick of Things IPA, a New World IPA brewed with our favourite American and Australian hops. Oh, there we go, American and Australian. So no New Zealand hops in there. Um, any actual ingredients on the beer? No, no actual ingre ingredients on the beer. Unfiltered, drink fresh, uh, working classy, I love that. So, um, I want to say a massive thank you again to Mick in Australia for sending me such a wonderful beer. This is my first bay, uh, my first beer from White Bay Beer Co. And I hope it's not my last because that is fabulous. It's really good. I'm gonna rate it. Loads of nectarine, tangerine, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, grapefruit. It's full of flavor full of flavour. That's one of my favourite Australian IPAs of 2020. When did we review Old Man Shouts at the Cloud? Because that was like mind-blowingly good. I think that was 2019. So, <coughs> pardon me, for 2020, this is one of my favourite Australian IPAs. It's terrific. Again, thanks to Mick for sending. I'm going to rate it. For me, that's a Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Redale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.